What's up? What is going on? Y'all got my jam playing in the back. This is Isis Love tuning in live and direct. If y'all know this song right here, I just want y'all to get up and just start getting it, right? Just just start getting it. This, this is my jam right here. We gotta let this play out real quick. And we're gonna have some people come up on this call. Cause what we gonna be talking about today. Y'all don't want to miss what we about to talk about today. Hold on, y'all. My whole song just stopped. You see how the spirit try to come through? What's going on? What's going on? Let me put my song back on for y'all. Hold on. Hold up. Hold up. We're going to speak about the banks tonight. Yo. What's going on, Tommy? What's going on? Hayes, what's good? What's good? You got to walk it like you're talking, baby. <laughs> what is going on, y'all? What's, What's going on? What's going on? What's going on? What's going on today? I'm super excited about sharing uh, just some success of what has been going on with me. So uh, listen to this song a little bit. Share this video. Bang moves. I'm sorry. Sometimes you got to get a little ratchet, you know? You can't be always namaste. You know, you got to have that balance and balance it out. So I'm going to get some more people on this call, and I'm going to show y'all a little secret. I'm going to show y'all what a millionaire showed me. I'm going to let you know what these banks are doing to our money and how you should become your own bank, right? Yes, become your own bank, right? So... So give me a second. Let me ask some people. Listen to the listen to the uh, tunes in the back. You gotta walk it like you talk. Walk it like you talk. You gotta walk it like you talk. Walk it like I talk. Walk it like I talk. All right, all right. We're gonna go ahead and dive in this topic today. Turn this song down. That's my one. It get me hype. I ain't gonna lie. When I, before I go to the gym, before I wake up, I listen to this. Right. So, 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 I'm so happy to have everybody here tonight tuning in. If you are tuning in live right now, type in this chat bar live. If you're watching this on the replay, go ahead and let me know you're watching this on the replay. We're going to get into this today, you guys. I am fired up, right? So the reason why I was playing this Walk It Like I Talk It song is because, as some of you may know, I am a Forex trader, right? What does that mean? That means I trade on the foreign exchange market, right? And so I don't just talk about this. Like, I just don't talk about it. Like, I, I, I walk in and talk it at the same time, right? It's been a blessing for me, right? It's been a blessing for me to learn this skill. And so let me tell you a little bit about the banks. I don't know if some of you are aware or not, but I really want to bring this to your uh, your your awareness, right? I really want to widen your perception on how the banks do things with or without you being a participant, right? So first and foremost, you know, you're putting your money into the bank and you got to think about it. You're taking this fiat tangible money, right? And then you're putting it into the bank and you're not seeing it anymore. That means it's not your money. You be, you know what I'm saying? We'd be like, that's my money in the bank, but you don't even got your money. So how is that your money in the bank? You ever thought about that? You know what I'm saying? It's, you don't even feel you got it, so it's, it's not your money, right? And so lately, I've been having so many, so much trouble with the banks, right? Like, I normally don't like to keep anything in the banks. Like, anything that I have is either going to whatever I got to pay, and the rest of the stuff, I'm investing it. Like, I'm making it mo make money for me, right? But lately, like, the last couple of days, I've been having problems with this one bank, and they always like to charge you these fees. You ever think about that? You get a fee for that, a fee for that. If you got overdraft protection, you get a fee for that. You know what I'm saying? It's all these bank fees, all these fees, all these things you got to pay to these banks, right? Do we ever just sit and think that? Like, why well, I got to pay all of these for this, for this bank, right? And so it gets even deeper, right? And so I'm about to get really deep on this. I got my uh, whiteboard. I'm about to draw it out for y'all because what I'm about to talk about tonight, I want y'all to visually see. Like I can talk about it and it can go out of one ear and to another ear. But one thing's for sure is numbers never lie, right? So, you know, you go, you go open your up account. Like I definitely do give kudos to people who save money because it's a step up. 
right? You got to start somewhere. You got to save something, right? But saving money is not going to get you anywhere. Because when you save it, look, let me show you all a little diagram, right? So you open, you go to your bank, you got your new little cute bank account, right? You put $100 in there, right? And let's just say it's sitting there for about, let's do, let's do something simple. It's sitting there for six months, right? So you put $100 into your account. I want you to follow me, right? Now, this is numbers, so I want you to listen, right? So you put $100 in your account. It's sitting there for six months, right? Six months just sitting there chilling. I guarantee you, by them six months, you might have a hundred dollars and three cents afterwards because your money doesn't gain any interest sitting in account. It don't do nothing. It's just sitting there stale, right? Money is energy. It has to move. That's why it's always moving. That's why banks are always taking your money that you put in there and then giving it out to other people for loans. Um, for different type of things, giving it to other governments. So it's not really your money, honey. It's being passed around. It's being traded. It's being traded on the market, you guys. Your money is being traded. So that's why you got to know what is going on with your money when you put it in these banks. Because when you, people sometimes are afraid of investments, but putting your money in a bank is, is, is a risky investment because if anything was to happen to that bank and if anything was to happen to the system, that's your money tied up into the bank. You ever thought about that? We got to start getting tangible things because your money just sitting in the bank, it ain't doing nothing for you. So what I have learned is I have learned how to make money like the banks make money. Right. Making money like the banks make money, because if you don't make money off of your money in the bank, the bank going to do it anyway. Right. So I got to get some water for this one because I'm about to go in. Mm. Woo. Ain't nothing like some cold water. So, look, I'm going to break this down to y'all real mathematical. Right. So hold on. I don't got my little. I don't got my little spongy note, but look, look, I'm about to break these numbers down for you, right? So right now, <clears throat> we have a lot of people just that, that's looking for a difference, right? We have a lot of people that's looking for change. They're looking for, <clears throat> you know, to leave their jobs and be able to travel the world, to spend more time with their family, right? They're asking the universe, they're asking God, you know, please bring this blessing to me. Please bring this abundance to me. But God speaks back to you in many different ways. And so when you ask for these opportunities, these opportunities come to you. But we block our blessings by not even taking these opportunities because we're questioning. It's like you're saying, I want a cheese pizza. Please bring me a cheese pizza. And then a che somebody come up to you with a cheese pizza. And the first thing you're thinking is, is it a scam? Are they out to get me? Like, you know, it's, it's that defense instead of thinking, oh, yeah, I did ask the universe for a piece of here it goes. Where's the same thing when you're asking for financial liberation, when you're asking for a difference or an increase in your finances, there's so many opportunities that comes your way. But you may get scared or you may be fearful because we're always in this defensive mode thinking that somebody is out there to scare my money. Right. So I'm going to wrap it back into what I do and how I do what the banks do to make sure that I get in, get in passive income, right? So let me, let me kick it to you like this, right? So let's just say, hypothetically, let me throw these numbers at y'all so you can see because numbers don't lie, right? So you work, I just want y'all to see these facts. So seven hours a day. Let's just say, what is, can somebody tell me what minimum weight, well, like what's the normal pay rate at a job because I haven't worked for somebody in like five years so I'm not sure what is the average pay rate if somebody could just give me a number real quick if y'all could just comment in the comment bar because I want y'all to see these numbers right numbers don't lie so if somebody can kind of just comment in the comment bar I'm gonna try to look it up on my phone to see what is the average rate that people get paid at at the job right so let's just say I don't know ten dollars that sounds about right maybe right so ten dollars an hour you're working seven hours that's seventy dollars right think about this so for seven hours of work you make 
ten dollars of pay that equals 70 right i want y'all to look at this thank you ten dollars see i knew it i knew it right so peep game right so you're going to work for seven hours for ten dollars you're working for seventy dollars right now i want y'all to follow me share this video if you're just getting on here because these numbers that i'm about to break down I'm going to give you the solution to all of this that I'm talking about. So you might want to go here and share this video and help somebody in your community. Because maybe you don't want to help yourself, but you can help somebody else, right? So you're basically bringing in $70, right? So check this out. You're still getting taxed. You ever paid attention to your paycheck when it comes? You, you're ba like literally like our time is the money. Right? You're going and spending seven hours of your life. That's like giving up gold for $70, which that $70 is still going to be $70 tomorrow and the next day and the next day because it has no value. Right? Guess what? The next time you go and you go buy a pair of shoes or you go buy a shirt for $70, guess what? That's 70, you're trading $70 worth of your time. So let me break that down. What's going on, Alicia? What's going on, Miss Love? I want y'all to really hear me out real quick. Don't jump off of this live. Like, I really want y'all to see this, right? Because this is mind-blowing, right? So the average person is going to work for somebody else. Look, peep game. I'm just trying to bring awareness. I'm not knocking what anybody's doing. I'm just bringing awareness to the community, right? So we're going to work to build up somebody else's legacy. Think about that. You're going to go build up Tom and Melissa's business so that they can leave money and, and leave the company to their family. They're practicing generational wealth, right? I want you to think about this. Really listen to what I'm saying, right? Back to this. So seven hours for $10, you're making $70 for one day of seven hours of pay. And it's getting taxed. So let's take it further. Right. And I'm going to give you all the solution. So I really want you all to stand fast on this video because I'm going to give you the solution and then I'm going to help you do it. I'm going to help you do it. I'm going to give you the bonus cash to do it. So just give me one second. Bear with me right now. You don't want to miss out on this money giveaway. So pay attention. Right. So let me pull my let me pull my calculator back up. And I want y'all to interact with me. So I'm going to be asking y'all to add up some stuff real quick. Um, so look, so you're working. So that one day for $10 got you $70, right? So let's just say the average person is working Monday through Friday. So that's seven hours times five. Can somebody tell me what that seven hour, what's seven times five? I know what it is, but I want y'all to interact with me because I want to make sure y'all are inner and overstanding what I'm speaking about right now. So imagine you're working seven hours for five days, right? All right. I don't want y'all to be too slow with it. It's 35, right? 35. And it may be some late delay in this feed. So 35. So 35 hours, Monday through Friday, we are building somebody else's empire keep in mind your time is the real currency you follow me i want you to really listen because i'm gonna give you the solution i'm gonna give you the solution to be able to chill at the house and make double of this thank you very much latoya thank you thank you thank you yes 35 35 all right so hang tight y'all so 35 right monday through friday right so let's time that times 10 Right, because you're making ten dollars an hour, give or take, give or take, right? So that's three hundred and fifty dollars a week. So hold on, y'all. Stay with me too. I really want y'all to see this. When I seen these numbers, and then I start seeing what I was making sitting at my house looking cute, it's baffling, right? So seven times the five is thirty uh five, and then times that by 10 is 50. Okay, hold on, y'all. Stay with me, right? Stay with me. So seven hours for five times a week equals 35 hours. 35 hours times the base pay, which was $10, remember, equals 350. So that means in that one week, I want y'all to listen to me. Really 
follow me, right? Really follow on what I'm saying, right? And it may be a little bit more, but still, I want you to listen. 15 hours is cute. $15 an hour is cute too. But what I'm about to show you is going to blow your mind. So stay here with me, right? So that's 350 for that week. So that for that week, 350, right? I want y'all to follow me. If y'all got your own pen and paper, write these numbers down, and I want you to always look at these numbers. If these are not your numbers, I want you to calculate your numbers up, and I, and I want you to hit me up, and I'm going to show you how to fix this problem, right? So 350 every week is kind of what you're making, right? Let's times that by four. Well, no, let's times that by um, three because we want to have – we want to times it by a month. So we're really going to times that times three. So that's 1,000. So if you work that for a straight week, a straight week, 35 hours every week, 35 hours every week is 350. Times that by four months, we equal uh, 1,050. The 50? Yes. $1,050 for a whole month. A whole month, right? You know how many hours that is? Like, I really want y'all to really follow me, right? You know how many hours that is? 140 hours. So it's all going to make sense, right? So you're working seven hours for $10 an hour. That one day you're making $70. Bring it over here. Seven hours times five, five times a week. 35, right? 35 hours times that seven days, 350. That means every week you're getting 350, right? Follow me, right? Listen to what I'm saying, right? So times that by a month, because let's just say you get paid every month, hypothetically, right? That's $1,050, right? But you put in 140 hours, so you put in 140 hours of your time that you cannot get back, right? I want y'all to share this video if you're just getting on right now because these numbers are mind-boggling, right? These numbers are mind-boggling, right? I want y'all to share this video if you're just getting on, right? So 140 hours of your life for 1,005 for $1,050. That's it. And guess what? You're an employee, so you're getting taxed 28 to 35% because you're an employee. So you get your check, you like, yeah, I made a thousand for my check. Guess what? They're taxing your time again because they're taxing your pay. So you thought you was making a thousand dollars. Let's just say after, because they normally tax people $200 to $800 on their W-2. So let's just say they tax you, let's say they tax you about, uh, let's say they tax you all the way down to $800, right? So now you only literally make it $800 for that month. Let me tell you guys, and what I'm about to say, past profits don't make, or, don't, uh, make future results, but I can tell you straight up straight that this is what I've been bringing in every day off of making my phone into an ATM by making trades. Let me pull this up. Let me pull this up for y'all and tell y'all how much I done made so far today on my cell phone. On my cell phone. On my cell phone. Let me pull it up for y'all. On my cell phone. Not at somebody's job. At the beach. I was at the beach today putting in trades, right? So let me pull this up for y'all. Hold on, give me one second. Let me see today. Uh, okay. Give me one second. One second. Where's my demo account? Bow. Demo. Money for the day. Okay. Here it goes. Yeah. So just from today, right? I hope y'all can see this. So... I don't know if y'all can see this. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. We're going to get this because, I, cause you know, numbers don't lie. Oh, hold on. Wait, wait, maybe. Wait, hold on. Let me see if I can get this in here. Damn. 
I can't get it on here. I can't get it on here. I'm freaking mad. Hold on. Let me tilt this. Okay. There's a little bit of something. Okay. Look at them numbers, right? Y'all see some of them trades I was putting in. Look at that one for $121, $92, right? Different prices, $80, $45. Let me tell you, I did that for my phone within minutes. On one trade, I made $121.15. I did that within minutes. Some people make $121 in three days of them working. I sat at the comforts of my home and made this money because I'm learning a skill. I'm learning what the banks are doing. Are y'all following me? We say we want financial freedom. We say we want a difference, right? Learn how to trade, you guys. Like, learn how to trade on the Forex market. The Forex market is the largest market out there. And it may be, like, baffling for some people. They may think it's too hard to learn. But guess what? When you first got an algebra class, that math seemed a little hard, right? You ain't really understand it. The numbers, you was like fractions. Pi equals what? You ain't really understand it, right? But the more and more you went to algebra class and the more and more the teacher gave you the homework and the more and more the teacher gave you the lessons, you understood algebra, right? Am I right? Somebody tell me if, if I'm right or not. Somebody let me know if you're following me. If you're following me, just put following me on, in the comment bar, right? I want y'all to follow me on this, what I'm saying. I sat in the comforts of my phone, in my home. I'm going to pull it up again for y'all. Look at that. Look at this money I was making today, uh, $92, $6.03, $6 hold on, $43, $80. This right here is the foreign exchange market. This is a live market right here that I'm trading on, right? So let me see if I can add up a daily price on how much I made in one day. Okay, I want y'all to, okay, let me add this up. Okay, so y'all add this up when I'm saying it, okay? Get, be my calculator because I'm using my phone, so I can't really uh, do the calculator. Okay, cool. She's following me. That's what I'm talking about, Latoya. So, listen, I want you to add this up so y'all can know how much I made in one day, and I'm not done because every day I make sure that I'm at least making five to 600 a day. A day. A day. Some people make that. What, what we say? We said people making 350 in five days. I'm making five to six on one day, in one day, okay? Numbers don't lie. That's why I played that song, Walk It Like I Talk It. You know, you got to walk it and talk it, baby. So look, I want y'all to be my calculator, right? So this is just today, and I'm not done, right? So I want y'all to add up 120. I'm going to put it in here. I want y'all to add this up for me. I want y'all to add this up. So today so far, I made 151 plus... $92 and 11 cent plus um $6 and 10 cent $6 and 10 cent right so i want y'all to add this up right so so far like i said past profits don't equal future results but so far like i said i i want y'all to add that up that's that 1 Twenty-one fifteen, that ninety-two eleven, and the six dollars and ten cent. Somebody add that up for me, please, and drop that on there. What's going on, T? T know what it is, Mr. Smith, dropping the nuggets. He know what it is to know to catch that money on that market, yo. We are literally catching money on this market, you guys. Like I don't know if you really enter and understand how powerful it is to learn how to trade on the forex market. So I'm gonna add this up just in case. The video is delaying, and um, you really don't get it in before me. I want y'all to see these numbers because one thing is for sure is numbers don't lie. Okay, ISIS love to say anything, but numbers don't lie. So 219 and some change. Let me see. 36 cents. All right. So that all happened within today, and I'm not done. Right. Let me see. Right. So, whoa. That must be a, a sign from the universe because that's the wrong price. That must be a sign for the universe. Let me know that that's how much I'm about to get in. <laughs> that's what's up. So today so far, yes. You no, know, yeah, okay. That sounds about right, right? So think about it, right? We're going back to our diagram, right? 
working seven days, I mean seven hours for five days equals 35 hours, Time, which means for that one week you're bringing 350. So it took five days to make about $350. It took me about, let's say, seven to eight hours to make $249.21. And that's because I've been doing stuff today. I'm not even done. I'm going to continue to trade throughout the day. Now, are y'all following what I'm saying? This is the financial revolution. This is the financial revolution. This is the financial liberation. Liberate yourself. Block and I mean, uh, break the own chains of your own blockages, right? This is what the banks are doing to your money. When you sit your money in a bank account and it's just sitting there looking cute, not making babies for you, it baffles me that the banks are doing this and ain't nobody else doing it. That's why I'm trading my money. I'm not going to let it sit there. And so that's why I'm so glad that I have teamed up with Trade Nation, which is a group of investors. We are teaching the community how to grow money, how to grow it, how to have it make babies. Your money got to make babies. If your money ain't fucking, why it ain't making babies. And don't excuse my French. I'm straight up. Maybe I got to break it down to you like that. If your money ain't making love, getting it in, doing a menage a trois, popping out babies for you, then what is it doing? What is it doing? You guys, what I have is the golden ticket. The golden ticket. Because you can teach this to your children instead of going to go work at some doctor's office, at Uber. Like, I get it. I get it, fam. And I'm not knocking. This is no, I'm not judging and I'm not knocking it. You got to do what you got to do to, 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 to be where you are now, right? I get it. But at the same instant, you don't have to do that because it's a choice. It's a choice that you get up every day uh, and battle traffic to go build up Tom or Melissa's job. That's a choice because we all have the choice. That is a choice. That's why having multiple streams of income is so important. That means you don't have to get boggled down by one thing. Right? Are y'all following me? So the next time somebody hits you up about trading and about learning how to trade on the Forex market, you need to open your ears and listen to them. You need to open your ears and really listen to them. I don't know if it's really getting in or not, but we're going to go back to the diagram because numbers don't lie. So if it's not really making sense to you now, I want y'all to run it back again, right? So, seven hours for $10 equals $70 for one day. So, you're taking seven hours of your time to make $70, right? Seven hours times five days a week gives you 35 hours, right? So, out of 35 hours, you're only going to make $350, right, for one week of your pay. You can make $350 on a 4X market in a matter of minutes, in a minute, matter of hours. You don't have to go sit in somebody's office and work all day and sit in traffic. That's a choice. You choose to do it. What I'm saying to you is that I have found the golden ticket. Literally, I feel like Willy Walker around this mug. I got the golden ticket. I got the golden ticket. Yes, I do. <laughs> the freaking golden ticket, you guys. Like, I'm fired up. So let me tell you what really has me fired up. Let me get my pen, right? Compounding interest. Compounding 
interest, right? What is compounding interest, right? Compounding interest is when you're compounding and gaining off of your money, right? So let me break something else down to y'all. And if y'all if y'all still follow me, I want y'all to really listen. Like if you just tuning in live, don't get off of this live. Like listen to what I'm really saying, right? So if you're just getting on, let me break it down to you one more time. So y'all bear with me. So the average person is working seven hours for $10. That's $70 a day. Seven hours times five equals 35 hours a day, which equals $350 of pay. Times that by a month, you're bringing in $1,050 after taxes, about $800, and you're putting 140 40 hours of your time building somebody else's wealth, building somebody else's generation, right? You can make $350 off the Forex market within a matter of minutes. And of course, it depends on your skills, how much effort you're going to put in it. You know, like I said, I'm saying these numbers to give you a bold figure of what I have done. So what I what I have done, I can't say that you're 100% going to do it, but what I can say is that I can teach you and that I can give you the tools and the support to learn how to trade off the Forex market. After that, it's up to you. Like after that, it's up to you. You may make way more than that, right? So this is how it go. So this is how we're showing you how to compound your money, right? So I do about five to 10 trades a day, a day. And as you see, one of my trades already brought in $121. Another one brought in $40. Another, I mean, another one brought in, you know, $40. One of them may bring in $90. I want y'all to listen to the math. So let's just say on an average of one day, let's just say, because I want y'all to see these numbers, right? Let's just say every day, because you can. this is possible on the Forex market, right? So, and I also want to put a disclaimer in there because I don't want nobody being like, I signed up and I did my demo and I ain't making this and this. It definitely depends on your effort that you're going to put in it. But if you're coachable and you have an open mind, I can show you how to do this, right? So, let's just say hypothetically, right? You're trading Monday through Friday. Monday through Friday. Let's just say you're averaging, just to be on the safe side, let's just say you're averaging $200 a day. So we're going to squiggle this out. So you're making two, so you're making $200 a day on the Forex market, sitting back in your house looking cute or like me at the beach in Mexico. Okay. So you're making $200 a day. Right. For five days a week. Right. What's that? Times five. Right. That's a thousand. So basically you made a thousand. Dollars in one week, one week, one week, one week. But it's your normal nine to five job in one week. You're making three hundred and fifty dollars and you got to leave your house and you got to spend thirty five hours of your time doing that when you can sit at the comforts of your home and make a thousand in a week. Are y'all following me? Did she just say that? Yes, I just said that a thousand dollars a week and these numbers that i'm giving you are figures so you can understand maybe you may make a hundred a day maybe you may make 50 a day i just want you to see the compounding interest i want you to get the analogy that i'm talking about right so let's times that a thousand by four because let's do it by monthly that's four thousand dollars my bad that's $4,000 in one month versus your 800 in one month. This is what I want y'all to do. When we get off this call, I want you to add up how much you make in one day at your job. Then I want you to see how much you make in a week at your job. And then I want you to see how much you make in a month at your job after taxes. And you let me know if you would rather stay at your job and make little to no pay and get taxed, or would you rather meet me at the beach and make 4000 a month chilling? 
It's a freaking no-brainer. It's a no-brainer to learn how to trade on the Forex market. You could trade cryptocurrency on the Forex market, right? You could trade gold, silver, oil. It's just the exchange of currency, right? Let me show y'all. And I definitely want to say it's all about the effort that you're going to put in. My bad. It's all about the effort that you're going to put in, right? Give me one second. I got actually somebody trying to hit me up right now, and they want to learn how to do this. Uh, my bad. Oh. Oh. Hold on, you guys. My bad. One second, one second. I'm about to pull this up right now on my phone. Okay. So let me pull my um, thing back up. Okay. All right. So y'all see those numbers moving? Y'all see that? Right? Those are pairs. Those are currency pairs. Those, that CP, that C, uh, CAD, GPY, that's the Canadian dollar against the Asian dollar. The U.S. against the Asian dollar. You see that? You see it moving? You see them different numbers moving? Right? That's because it's being exchanged. Currency is being exchanged. Money moves. Money got to move. Money got to move. Man, this stuff is exciting. To learn how to trade is exciting. Like, literally. And for my new people, y'all just getting on? Good. I want to run this back to y'all, right? Seven hours a day. For $10 an hour equals 70 hours. $7 a day times five equals 35 hours, and you're getting 350 a week, right? About 1,050 a month and about 800 after taxes, right? But on the Forex market, it's possible to do 200 a day trading times five days a week, $4,000, right? $4,000. <laughs> I just got to pause like that for a minute. Like, I get so many people that want to learn the Forex market, but don't know how to pass that hurdle or that fear or that worry. We got to stop worrying when we're asking God for a difference. What is there to think about? You already asked for the prayer. The prayer is here. So what else is there to go and think about? You manifested it. You asked for freedom. You asked to be able to travel the world. You asked for more time with your family. So when somebody approaches you about learning how to trade on the Forex market, you need to open your ears because that's God speaking to you. I mean, literally think about it. I could pick up my phone right now and make a trade. I might want to go somewhere and I might not got no money, but all I got to do is trade and get my light bill money, get my gas money, get my water bill money, get my car note. We sitting here struggling, trying to figure out how to get money for a car note, how to get money for our lights. Well, if you know how to trade on the Forex market, you'll put your, you'll pick your little cute phone up and make your smartphone a real smartphone instead of it being a dumb phone. Y'all understand what I'm trying to say? I mean, are y'all following me? <laughs> like, <laughs> like, you guys, I literally made $249 today looking cute. Looking cute. <laughs> and I know you can too. I know you can because all of y'all cute on here. You all cute. And you could be making this cute money instead of going to go build up Tom's business. I mean, really think about it. Think, think, think about it. You don't like your job. You don't like the people at your job. You're getting tired of battling traffic in the morning. Your body is tired. Your mind is tired. 
The job is only giving you so much money to survive. What are you waiting on? Why are you still there? Why are you still complaining and still being there? I'm trying to think about that, right? I think I said enough. I want that to sit and marinate, marinate in your mind, right? Let it marinate in that mind because you know who I'm talking to. You exactly know who I'm talking to. Spirit is coming through me to speak this message to you. Yes, you get out of your own way. 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 Get out, right? So this is Isis Love, you guys. It was a pleasure sitting here, breaking this down to y'all. If you were watching this live, please comment live on here. If you're watching it on the replay, let me know. I want to know who's watching this. I want to know if what I am putting out is valuable. Because I just sat on here for 36 minutes and my time is gold, baby. My time is valuable. So I just spit major nuggets to you guys. And I want to make sure that the information received was received and that it was valuable for you. So please hit replay if you need to go back and watch this. If you are ready to switch lanes and be on the right side of money, switch lanes and be on the right side of money, and you have the burning desire to do whatever it takes for you to get there, because success and wealth means sacrifice. You're going to have to give up something. You're going to have to give up your t watching your TV. You're going to have to give up going out to the club every night, right? But you're going to be up. You're going to be able to set your family free financially. That's what it's about. And it's not even all about the money. It's about the mindset. It's about having a money mindset. And that's what I teach the people in my organization. That's what I teach the people who sign up under my organization. They get the mentorship from me, the personal with me, the one-on-one -on -one with me. It's a mindset. You got to set your mind right for abundance, all right? So I'm going to just get off of my soapbox, you know, but I'm so fired up about this, you guys, because the way this money's been coming in, baby. <laughs> Yo. <laughs> so uh, without further ado, it's been a pleasure, fam. Definitely, definitely do love you. Share this information. Information, knowledge is the new currency. If you don't have knowledge, how are you expanding? And if you are not expanding, you're dying. You're dying. If you're staying the same, you're dying. Right? So take my wise words and take heed at what I speak. Because know that the ancestors are speaking through me, for me, for us. Peace.